is no drama without conflict. And when you have two characters involved who are conflicted right from the beginning, it's beautiful. Maybe you and I could partner up. Or I turn you in. Two opposing characters, as opposite as they can possibly be, except one little item. They knew each other from a teacher-student point of view. And Walt discovers that Jesse is in the drug world. Walter White turned Jesse Pinkman's life upside down. He was happy dime-bagging it. He really was. And once Walter White came back into his life and, like, blackmailed him into going into business together, like, the rug was pulled out from underneath him. This is art, Mr. White. Actually, it's just basic chemistry, but thank you, Jesse. I'm glad it's acceptable. The characterizations of Walter White and Jesse Pinkman is a testament to the writing ability and insight that Vince Gilligan has. It's kind of a sad uh, relationship that they have, in my opinion, because uh, Jesse needs a father. He needs a father figure. And Walt, uh, most days, is a pretty sad father figure. He's the kind of father figure who'll tell his son figure to take a gun and go out and get some respect and, and get the money back that uh, has been robbed from him <laughs> at the risk of his own life. And yet, somehow, Jesse gets something he needs from Walt. You, you are not how I remember you from class. I mean, like, not at all. Surprise! Walter White is a character in flux, and he is a, he is a man who started off uh, like the rest of us. He started off a good, well-intentioned person, a good citizen, a good teacher, a good father and, and husband. This path he's put himself on, it turns out to be not, not quite so easy. You have to immerse yourself completely in this dark world in which he has imposed himself. And the more he's in it, the dirtier he becomes and the less sympathizable. There are tremendous changes that Walter White has has made throughout the season. This man is going through a metamorphosis from being a good person to becoming a hardened criminal. And we're well along the way and well beyond the point of no return. Certainly what we've discovered is that Walter White has a price for his morality and he's spending it. Okay. Luckily, we've got Brian Cranston playing the part of Walter White because Brian is so easy to sympathize with even when the character he plays is doing such rotten, despicable things. He's incredible, man. Brian Cranston, he's a, he's a mentor of mine for sure. I love the man. What did you do? <laughs> I saw him as a very intense, dramatic actor who it later surprised me to learn could do humor. But in fact, Brian Cranston is capable of doing anything in the acting world. I mean, he could play the Helen Keller story, if you put his mind to it. I mean, he could do anything, this guy. He's got such range as an actor, I've never seen it before. And a sympathizability and a relatability, and all of these things add up to, uh, to Walter White. And, and he embodies the character more perfectly than I think any other actor could. Walt and Jesse, it's a, it's a complicated relationship. It's a love-hate relationship, I think. More so, definitely, uh, I, I think a love relationship now. No. No, we only sell it, we don't use it. He first hated the fact that he was really blackmailed into going to, into business with Mr. White, with Walter. But as you know, the relationship starts to blossom, I think he's kind of a, a mentor in a way. But I did everything else just like you taught me. I think I know Jesse a lot better now than um, obviously the first season. Uh, many more layers were revealed throughout the, the seasons, but then all of a sudden he'll do something that, that surprises me, that shocks me, and he goes in a different direction. And then I have to kind of figure out why he did that. He's such a polar opposite of me. Um, that's why I love playing him so much, just zipping on his skin is, is kind of hilarious. Hi there. I think there was immediate chemistry between Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul. There was an immediate, I don't want to say father-son relationship, more like a big brother or little brother kind of a situation between these two guys uh, from the get-go. Aaron is such a great, and he still strikes me as a kid, although he's in his 30s now. He's accessible, he's a good actor, his instincts are really accurate and fun. He's just fantastic. If there's any justice in this world, uh, Aaron Paul's gonna be a major, major star after Breaking Bad ends. It's okay. It's awesome. I'll contact the guy myself. Oh yeah, well good luck. Eat me. Anytime, loser.
we're following this man's journey from one type of person to another. Walt doesn't know what's going to happen the next hour, let alone the next week or year. And that keeps it alive and fresh and, and interesting for us to play and hopefully to watch.